Hello everyone, my name is Hao Yi Zhou. I'm a great honor to represent my courses and introduce our recent work on applying the transformer model in a time series forecasting. The model is named as Informer, which we aim to build beyond efficient transformer for long sequence time series forecasting. And the, my talk will be divided into five different parts, and I will start with the background. Secondly, the motivation, which why we use self-attention here, and the method is the details of informer and some hints, and we have conduct several experiments, and we will briefly explore the results in the experiments parts. So, what's the main topic of this paper? It's a sequence prediction. It's a kind of classic problem, which can be applied in a stock market prediction human prediction prediction, weather prediction, supply chain prediction, and social event prediction. I will give an exact example. The electricity transformer, not the transformer model, it's an electricity transformer, as the picture shows, is a valuable asset for the energy company. And it is very expensive, and can only accept one adjustment last two weeks. If we make the near future prediction as shown here, we can only perform a limited adjustment. If we make a cost prediction and make prediction per days, it will become an inefficient adjustment because they have a range to adjustment. The only way is to make the long sequence prediction. So then we have every day's plans and the this becomes a proper adjustment. And the long sequence time series forecasting problem is an important problem, and it has not been well addressed in the literature. Uh, take the recurrent neural network as an example. Uh, in this figure, this is the results of RSTM model. The red lines is the inference speed with the prediction sequence from 12 to 480, the emission score goes down very quickly. And uh, for the, oh, sorry, the inference speed goes down very quickly. And the MSC score goes down, uh, arise dramatically, which makes the model becomes unusable for this problem. So this team is longer suited for the long sequence time series forecasting. There is also another similar problem. It's the long sequence input learning problem. Uh, here is an example. If you put the Harry Potter, the whole book is about 80,000 words into this model and output, maybe classification or 80 novels, title summary, a sentence, short summary, a paragraph. The question is, uh, the question remains is a uh, long dependency among the inputs. That is because the whole book is a very long input. So the long sequence input learning problem is trying to enhance the model ability to have massive inputs. And the most important thing is to capture long-term dependency among the long sequence inputs. However, as for our problem, long sequence forecasting problem, is to enhance the model's prediction capacity to have a more extended output. But it also depends on the long sequence independence among the long sequence inputs. So the most important thing is to capture the long-term independence between the long sequence output and the inputs. So here is the, the question. Why are you self-attention here? Firstly, let us review that how do human beings tackle the forecasting problem? If we want to answer the following question, what is we do? We have to think that it's a machine learning problem, and we have to find its answer in the deep learning book, and explore the context, and find its definitions. So we have a question. How do we plan gifts for Christmas Day? 
we remember that last year we have blah blah blah, and uh, the family wish list, maybe some popular things like Switch console. So we have our plan gifts for Christmas days. We will have some feelings of what you have seen when it comes to the predictions. Thus, makes the attention mechanism. That is one of the most powerful concepts in deep learning field nowadays. If we see a time series like this, we are trying to find its redundant patterns, and uh, we want to also see some specific period of time we want to predict the future. If you see the following sentences, she is eating a green apple. The eating has higher attention on apple than the greens. So the, self, the attention itself is being uh, building a direct access between different things. And it also have make great access in both NLP and CV field. If we use transformers in RSTF problem, how can we do that? Uh, firstly, the max pass. Uh, let me clarify that. It's the path that the network signal traverses through the input and output as the red lines in the figure. Here is the pass. The shorter the pass, then the network is more efficient and the transformer has reaches the best max pass because it can build directly uh, connections between the input and output. However, the transformer has still some three significant drawbacks. Firstly, it's complexity. It requires quadratic computation on the with the sequence length, and it cannot handle the long input and the long output. So our question is how to solve that. Before further going on, uh, we'll point out that our work uh, is uh, our work informer. Uh, specifically, the proper uh, the proper sparse self attention lies at the vulnerable patterns of sparse transformers. We noted that other contributions are beyond the scope of efficient transformer or efficient self attentions, but the proper sparse self attention is around this part. Okay, let's go to the details. Uh, since there are three drawbacks. Uh, and we're following with three challenges, and we tackle them separately with different strategies. And there, here is the overall graph of the informer model. Firstly, is a self-attention mechanism. Uh, you can see that here is a heat map of the self-attention. The previous work that follows a heuristic assumption. Uh, you can see that in the, uh, in the bottom figures, uh, here are four types of transformer uh, feature maps. And uh, it's the sparse transformer, log sparse transformer, and the restart ones. They all follow the same heuristic way and select a fixed pair of query and keys. How about think of the self-attention mechanism in this three? If we record all the query and the key scores pairs, sort them, and draw histogram figures, they will form a log, log tail distribution. And we can see that the significantly query and the key pairs is around the heat zone of a long tail distributions. How about we select them out so that we cannot reach and we should not to compute all the query and the key pairs. Thus, the quadratic problem can be solved. The question is how do we distinguish the different query and the key pairs? Here's a way. Uh, looking at this one, uh, here is a highlight point at your query rise feature map. And this becomes like a heels, the red lines, the heels. And we call this is the active queries in self-attention. It's very different uh, from the uniform distribution. However, if you select like the dark, uh, a very dark query and key pairs in feature map, the green lines, it is very like the uniform distribution. 
such that the softmax will compute a trivial end of the values. So we call that is the lazy queries. So how do we distinguish them? It's simple. We use a key or divergence and drop a constant. We will define the S query sparsity measurement as the following. With this measurement, we can select the U dominant queries, the U dominant queries, that is the active queries. With this, the self attention can become computingly efficient. However, there is still some problem because the measurements have to calculate each dot product pairs still requires O quadratic computation. And the RC function has some numerical stability issue. Uh, to solve that, we replace the uh, RC function with its with the max function. Actually, it's the upper bound of the RC function. And we give the proposition to make sure that the reference is uh, safe and usable. After that, uh, we summarize our proper spatial position here, and we can only need to sample air log air dot product pairs. Thus, the quadratic problem can be solved. Secondly, is the self attention distilling operation. Uh, we actually add the one dimensional convolutional operation between adjacent layers, and it can cut half of the vectors before sending it to next layers. Thus, the layer stacking is no longer a problem for long input. We also add multiple stacks of self attention pipelines as a similar operation. You can see here the three stacks. The main stacks, the shorter stacks, and the shorter ones. However, the feature map is aligned. And thus, we can handle the long input problem. The third is the generative style decoder. We actually fill the input with zeros, but adding their personal embeddings and fade into the decoder and we directly, directly accurate our outputs with just one forward procedure needed. Thus, the long output is solved. With the three challenges, we have solved, we provide the three strategies to solve them, and that becomes our informal models. And here is a summary of informal network components. Okay, let's go deep into the experiment part. We have selected three different data sets. The first one is collected by, our, by us. And there are five time series methods and other transformer based methods and the baselines. And we choose two metrics. We have noted that all our methods are run one single invader uh, GPUs to make sure that the experiment is fair. Uh, for the universe time series forecasting, the informer greatly improved the inference performance and I choose better results as reformer and uh, log sparse transformers. This thing uh, still holds in multivariant time series forecasting problem. Uh, specifically, I have performed the, the granularity consideration. Our ETT dataset is split as two subsets. One is recorded by per 15 minutes, and another is recorded by per one hour. Our proposed informer achieves best performance with different granularity. We also do the parameter sensitivity. We show that our model is stable with input lens, and the sample factor, if you have remember, that is top view queries in the model. Uh, actually, there is no need to sample more 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 queries because you can see that if we sample 10 there will be uh, not sufficient uh, there's no sufficient performance improvement so we think uh, say the top five is enough and uh, the layer stacking we show that the mix of air scale and uh, the small size scale dependency is enough that is really once uh, how about the ablation study? If we, uh, if we can see that uh, in this comparison for a longer input, the informer is the 
only sparse transformers can handle this input. Another is reformer, but we are choose much better performance than them. And uh, if we remove the self attention distilling, you can see that as the second lines is informer plus plus. Uh, if we get come, uh, if we if the input if the encoder inputs gets longer than uh, seven twenty uh, seven hundred twenty, it will become harder to handle that. But the informer can handle that with the self attention distilling. And for the generator style decoder, uh, our informer with the generator style decoder can uh, handle the shifting predictions. To if we uh, if we do one train and uh, predict with different offset predictions and achieves the, the robust performance. However, the dynamic decoding cannot fill this kind of task. And also here is our uh, a total runtime of the training and the testing phase, and our performance shows uh, better performance in practice than other and other other log sparse implementations. And the inference speed R is a fast and uh, is the most efficient per method in the inference. Okay, here is a summary. Uh, the long sequence of forecasting problem is a long standing problem, and our self attention model becomes a tractable solution in this kind of problem. And the sparsity hypothesis, hypothesis works remarkably on this problem. And our proposed methods can bring substantial benefits to other domains, especially with the proper smart self attention, can help the long sequence generations. If you are interested with our work, you can uh, take our. You can search the links and uh, fit our and get our code and the data set. Feel free to use that. Okay, that's all. Thank you.